Yeah, so now he just kind of runs away. Now, it says talk to those three guys, but the thing is, like, before you can get a chance to, more Not than likely, Garth and Axel will land and talk you to you. truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes. One of his allies could tell us... Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? The Jarl of Oiron might not think so. Yes, but your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. <sighs> okay, that was basically all we need to do. Mora. And of course I need to be right back again. So, yeah, I'm going to cut real quick. Okay, back. I only took a couple minutes. Okay, now let's go talk to the Jarl. That little loading screen was just talking about the Sky Forge. It's apparently like a special forge that like special things can be made at but I'm not exactly sure how um it all works because I've never done those before anyway let's just Another talk to the Jarl here to lick my father's boots. may the gods Good watch God. over your battles friend I need your help I need to try I need to trap a dragon in your uh, palace I must have misheard you I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Sorry, we but I can't do it. My brother to do we'll just have to yeah. What you're asking for what is insane. You, do, you want God. me to let a dragon into the heart the of my city? You know with the threat of war on my doorstep? I'm not asking you to defy the Jarl, just to open his eyes. It's the only way to stop the dragon attacks, dude. The risk to is too great. He'll listen to you. Leave me out of the your threat head. is worse than you know. You Alduin has returned. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? So, <laughs> I am dragonborn. It's my... I know. <laughs> Maybe so. But I plan to go down fighting. What about no you? Oh, Nord could have said it better. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's to too help late. I you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Leave that to me. I'll talk to Arngar. 
<laughs> about hosting a peace council. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Now, okay. if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Can I... If... Just FYI... Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Fuck you, guard. <laughs> okay, if you do the Civil War quest line, that... Like, you can apparently skip this part of the quest. I've never done the Civil War quest line, so... Which is what I actually... Which, like, which is one of the things I plan on doing after the, um, story quests. Either the Civil War quest line or one of the DLCs. Probably the shorter one. Yeah, I will eventually do all, do both the DLC quest lines and... Civil War quest line and... Maybe if I get, maybe if I, maybe if I get a good, maybe if you, one of you, maybe if you, la, 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 la. maybe if you guys suggest a good quest mod, I'll, pro I'll probably do that too. Cause I know some like, I heard of some major like huge DLC sized quest lines that I just don't really, I've never really tried. <laughs> I don't, I've never really done a quest mod to be honest. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Outward. We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovereign I, I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help we to are capture not a dragon. Warriors. What is overlooked in the dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. I'll worry about capturing your dragon. I need your help to stop you the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Yell Balgriff won't help. Won't help me while I the see. war rages. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. Part they will listen. Has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Dragons have always been able to shout. There is no dip in myth for most people. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it okay. almost without effort. Uh. Deliver the message to the warring parties. If okay, they will I, listen, I think. I okay, I can't remember. I don't know if it's like turn. just a dialogue choice or if you need to beat Alduin in order to do it. But after um, you beat Alduin, you can talk. Like I think I mentioned this before, but you can talk to him. You can talk to that guy and. He will sh you'll actually mark on your map where words of power are. You know, just like that letter to a friend, letter from a friend thing. Let's go to talk to General Tullius first. Being old's not okay, so bad. Okay, there we go. Like, it's weird. Like, sometimes there's no music on at all. So it, like, throws me off sometimes. Because I think sometimes, like... Wait, did the, did the music stop? Yeah, there's, like, a bunch of soldiers and guards out here. You can sell off that junk at bits well, and pieces. Well, at least pieces. he's like right freaking here. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Okay. These two are kind of irrelevant since we didn't do that. Like, since that's just from the beginning of the game. And we didn't do the normal opening. So, I have a message the from the Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? They are... They're con... Nah. 
You want a peace council at High Hrothgar? Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce till the dragon menace is they dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks at I'll the moment. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. The best time to negotiate for a position of strength. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. You'll come yes, to the Peace Council yes, then? Yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you. Yeah. Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his call. Yeah, they're just gonna Riften, argue Downstar, about that for a while. Anywho. Let's I'd be a lot Let's like um lot. let's see, we're about at about twenty minutes. Let's uh go over to let's go see what Stormcloak man is doing. Oh, I haven't discovered that place yet? Well that's kind of surprising <laughs> but then again like I do have like five different characters that I go between so keeping track of who discovered what who has what shouts and especially who has what enchantments is difficult at times and of course it's freaking night it's, oh, it's always night when I end up here somehow like seriously there's only one time like Every, all, out of all the times I've done this quest, there's only been one time where I got here and it wasn't freaking nighttime. So Ulfric's probably gonna be freaking asleep in his bed. So I'm gonna have to wake his ass up. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. <sighs> yeah. And that's the reason why I no longer like the Stormcloaks at all. <laughs> because they're super fucking racist. <laughs> like, ridiculously so. Okay, I didn't hear the thing for that. That's really weird. Yeah, Ulfric's kind of sleeping, so as I said, we gotta go wake his ass up. Also, this is the first time I've ever walked up those stairs where there wasn't a guard walking down. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a yarl without summons. Do I know you? It's I about have a message time from the they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? And they want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace the is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this, 
unless Tullius himself will be there. Politics be damned, Alduin has returned. Alduin? The world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes. So they come to the Peace I'll Council? I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Woot. Okay. Now that's, now that's out of the way. We now have to go... Uh, you know, peace council. actually, I the think I may the have to leader. cut Both the recording the here. That way, I that way I can make sure to keep all the parts relatively half an hour, give or take. Okay, so I'll. I think I might actually record more. T I'm not sure if I'm going to record any more tonight. I definitely really feel like playing Skyrim, so I'm pro. So I probably am. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so next time on the Elder Scrolls v Skyrim, we're gonna go. We're gonna go help the Greybeards negotiate peace, so we can go bitch slap Alduin with our sword. All right, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. This is Zephyr Blademaster. Logging off. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you didn't like. Well, feel free to leave a comment anyway. If you have a suggestion for either a Skyrim mod or some way or something I could do to try to make the video more enjoyable, please let me know in the comments cuz I read literally every single one of them. All of them. <laughs> See you guys later.